So what is the leader of UKIP doing here? This is a Football Lads Alliance march. I mean, how do you feel associating UKIP's name with that? Uh, they've all, I've already given talks to their groups. Lots of them have joined us. They are democratic, uh, as you can see. They're against extremism of any kind. Yeah. So I don't have a problem with there it. There have been issues around racist comments on their website, uh, calling for Sadiq Khan to be hanged, for example. We have website, mate, on your Facebook we page. We have website. Uh, so you, all you're going to do now is try to disparage what we're doing no, no, put out some more I fake news. So I didn't it's agree not, to do an, not, an interview, so I'm here to do... I'm just asking I mean, you. No, because what you'll do is what you'll okay. do. You'll raise some issue that's not relevant. As this gentleman said, it's already told you they don't have a website. They do have a website. So, they have a Facebook well, page. That's how, we knew this, that's how we knew this was happening. You go off and you say whatever you want to no, say, just, and I'll do my no, stuff here. Could you answer okay. that? You don't... It's fair I enough do to not ask you, answer that question. Which still, question? Which you, question? You, you presumably condemn things such as... Of course as I do. I've spent 25 years running, being a member of a moderate party. You're now running a moderate party, yeah. a democratic party. We've always said that, always done that. You cannot control individuals saying stupid things. They do it in all parties. Why, why so you, that's the end of the why, interview. No, Thank no, but you. Why when, you, why when, you're, enough, why when you've enough, got the... Enough, enough, enough. I think we've got more to ask you. No, but he doesn't want to answer, does he? The former UKIP leader thinks this is an unnecessary distraction for the party. My concern with all of these groups is that that argument spills over into actually being an enemy of an entire religion. And that is not the place we need to be. Uh, for, for every reason. It's the wrong thing to do and it won't work anyway. Do you fear that that's what Gerald Batten is falling uh, down that track? Well, I don't think he's there yet, but I think he's going to be careful what company he keeps. Back at the rally, Mr. Batten had this to say about Muslim grooming gangs. So the age of consent in Islamic culture uh, is a lot more elastic than it would be in Western culture.